Welcome in drawing graphing in LaTeX using PGF Teach and in this part of the series we'll resume our learning from the last part okay where we learn to use uh, various options for the ticks let us see the source code first we need to use uh, PGF plots in the preamble okay and then in the document environment we need to use uh, begin tick picture and a tick picture after that axis environment comes okay with axis options and uh, inside this uh, environment we need to write add plot uh, command with uh, plot options and in the last we need to put a semicolon okay currently we are looking various important axis options in this square bracket okay so today we will learn various options for the axis lines and uh, labels and uh, if time permits then we will see the use of various options uh, for the title and grid okay this one we will see later here I have written one example in which uh, x and y ranges are same minus 4 to 4 okay and this is the output now we'll see various options for the labels first okay so i'll write here with the help of pgf plots package we can use uh, four types of axis axis semi log x axis semi log y axis and log log axis okay for example if you want to plot your data or function at log scale then uh, you can use a uh, log log axis okay so in this case you have to write log log axis at this place at this place okay now we'll see the options for the label you can use x label y label and z label okay so just write here x label and y label and compile your file okay it is better to put the text inside curly bracket if you are using more than one text separately okay next option is label style so if you want to put a common uh, style for x and y axis then you can use label style otherwise you can use x label style y label style and z label style okay so i'll take uh, x label style and uh, y label style each option is separated by comma remember this now i want to change the color for changing the font style we can use font option I want to use bold face so just write here BF series also we can change the family font family for example I want to use SF family if you want to put your text in italic then you can use it shape okay just copy this now this time I want to use uh, magenta compile your file all right we can also change the font size so at this place just define your font size for example I want to use large alright this one has been increased we can also change the spacing between axis line and label ok so for this we can use uh, x shift and y shift option just write here y shift and then define your dimension for example, I want to use a minus 3 mm for shifting the Y level in downward direction. Okay. Compile your file. Here we can see the difference by increasing the dimension. For example, if I use a 8 mm. actually for shifting y level towards the negative x direction we have to use uh, y shift ok alright so it's working now at this place I want to use a very long level and compile this file for better looking we have to break the long label so we can do this with the help of a line option ok so just go to y label style and in a curly bracket just write a line for the alignment we have three options 
we can use uh, left center and right I want to align my text uh, at the center so I'll write here center and also we have to use a uh, double backslash for breaking the long level okay all right so in this way you can break your uh, long level here we can observe that uh, text are not italic although we have used uh, it shape for both uh, x and y levels so for writing the text in italic we have to remove this one sf family all right now we'll see the options for the axis lines okay axis lines we can use for the common setting we have uh, five options left middle center right none and for x line we can use top middle center bottom none and for y we can use left middle center right none okay for example i want to use this one so just copy this and paste here you can use top option for keeping x axis at the top okay for middle you can use uh, middle option for keeping at the bottom you can use bottom option and for removing x line you can use non option okay so i'll use only uh, top and for y axis i want to use left okay okay we can use uh, center all right All right. Here we can also change the style of the arrow. Okay, several types of arrows we have seen in the uh, teacher tutorials. So same options we can use at this place also. So for this first we have to use axis line style. Okay, for the common setting. Otherwise we have to use uh, x axis line style, y axis line style, and z axis line style. I want to use this one. In this curly bracket, just write the code for the arrow, okay? Alright. We can also change the thickness. For example, I want to use a very thick option. And I want to use olive color. Alright. Similar to tick and axis levels, we can also shift the uh, axis lines with the help of uh, x shift and y shift options. Okay. Otherwise, we have uh, predefined option axis line shift. Okay. Now just copy this and paste here. I want to shift my x axis uh, by 5 mm. And same dimension I want to use for y axis. Okay. Just compile this file. All right. In the next, I will discuss about options for the title and grid. For writing the title, just use title option. Okay. Again, we can change the style of the title with the help of a title style option. All right. Similar to this, we can use a grid option. Here we have three options for the grid. Major grid, X major grids and Y major grids. For the X major grids and Y major grids, we can use true false. Okay, so first we will use this one. For changing the style, we can use a grid style option. I want to use very thin grid. So for this, we can use a very thin we can also change the opacity okay color 
all right now next option is legend but uh, this one we'll discuss later okay before this i want to discuss about plot options so i'll write here we can generate the plots with the help of mathematical expression okay also we can generate with the help of coordinates plots can also be generated by loading the data from the tables okay in order to create plot we can also use gnu plot from where we can import the numerical data okay all right first we will see about expression okay so just copy this and uh, paste here in this curly bracket we have to define our expression okay for example i want to plot uh, y equal to x so just write here x all right now i want to change the axis okay all right now i'll stop here and in the next part we will see several plot options and uh, several expressions okay so till then bye bye thanks for watching